Hello, how are you? It's another episode of Grayscale Painting. On Facebook, I had posted what um, 10 subjects you would like me to do a tutorial on. And there's been a few already. I'm gonna knock off the first one here. Uh, someone requested a purple rose. We're gonna get right on to it here. This is an 11 by 16 inch two ply Bristol. It's just paper, okay. Um, and with it being paper, it might bow on me, okay. But I am gonna uh, coat it with uh, some vegetable glycerin. If you look down here on the lower um, left hand of your screen, actually there is no lower left hand of the screen, it, it will just pan to it. Um, we got the glycerin, it's a um, vegetable glycerin. The pink you see the what's left of the shampoo that I had, all right. And once this is wore out and everything, I'll just use nothing but glycerin. Um, it's a good extender and blender of paint. All right, you'll see in a second. Um, the paints that I do have <coughs> is uh, Deep Violet. They're all Grumbacher heavy body paints. Uh, processed Red, Thalo Green, Titanium White, some uh, Burnt um, Sienna, and uh, Pink. All right, okay then. So I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, glycerin. As you can see, it's kind of thick. Okay, until enough air gets a hold of it, then it becomes more lucid. Come up to the board for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat this paper with this. It's very thick. You don't need much of it. I'm going to go. Now, you might not see the pencil mark, but I do have a, a, a it's not even a, a roll sketch, but it's just an area where I intend to put the, uh, put the rolls. And so... I'm not going to put glycerin on that. That would just be regular paint. Because I want it to kind of dry quickly. Alright. And so I'm just basically just covering up the the blank area with the glycerin. Like I said, the glycerin helps it to flow. You need very, very, very little of this stuff. It takes a little while for it to dry. Okay. And you'll see how easily it blends stuff um, together. I mainly kind of want the background a real light purple pinkish color. Okay, which is why I'm doing what you see me do now. Now this paint, the pink I have, it's kind of um, thin. It's kind of crafty, craft paint like. All right, so it's, this normally would take a few coats to get that thickness in there, but I'm not really um, too worried about it. Most of this is gonna be pink anyway, and I'll smooth it all out and whatnot. When I add the other heavier colors in there, it'll kind of blend in. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of sienna in this pink, just to give it a little variation. Okay, which is why I'm adding some of this sienna, and it's so closely related to each other, so it won't be too bad. I'm gonna get a small amount of purple, or I'll tease some little bit of purple in here, just a little bit like that. All right, I'm just cleaning off the brush real quick here. I got a t towel right here on my lap so I can just wipe the brush off. I'm going to add some pink within some of that purple because I don't want to, the flower itself is going to be kind of on, a, on the purple side. So it's all good. I'm going to take some titanium white, which will help lighten up some of this area. Okay, just like this. I, it, it will all be blended and melded together. So don't worry about all of that. The streaks you see will all go away. Um, don't worry about that. I'm getting a little bit of green. I'm gonna throw some green here um, around the around the uh, edges of the flower here, just to um, get a little bit of brown, darken it up a little bit, just to kind of encase the flower a, a bit. That's all. So everything is, is uh, kind of planned. We're gonna kind of, like I say, encase this flower a little bit here, just like that. Don't worry about the streaks. And this is just a nice little background to add to your, to your flower. All right, that should be about enough. 
Like I say, I'm just cleaning off the brush here. This is a thick one and a half inch brush that I normally use most of the time. All right, I'm going to take a very soft, very large mop brush. It's not but a giant makeup brush. And as long as the glycerin kind of holds, and I'm hoping it does, I will just go in circles and blend all of this together, get rid of the streaks. Very soft brush. It does a lot of nice soft blending, and that's all I'm looking for right now is to softly blend the background. If some of it green goes into the uh, flower area, that's fine. That's okay. It will add to the transparency of the flower. All right. Now this is a different material than um, the canvas paper or the watercolor paper that I would use. Okay. This has kind of a, a a, um, a soft um, it's got a smooth surface shiny surface on it okay the glycerin is starting to dry it's pretty warm in here but that's okay I'm gonna just keep going in circles keep stirring and blending the glycerin is is not on here heavy which is good because I just want this to kind of move, you know, the painting to move along move along a little bit and basically I'm just blending it all in together and this is nothing but background color anyway. There'll be all sorts of leaves and stuff um, covering this. Not all of it, but it's going to cover the majority of it. And all I'm doing is going back and forth with it, just stirring it, blending it. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. So if it does dry up, that's fine. But this is how I just get these mauve soft pastel type backgrounds going on with this. All right. No more, no less. And that's about it, really. Okay. The flowers and the leaves and whatnot, it tie most of this together. Okie dokie. We're not even going to play around. We're going to just go right into it. I'm going to use a larger brush. This might be a three quarter inch brush here. Okay, yeah, it is. It's a three-quarter inch flat. And we're going to do background flowers, black, or at least background leaves. Okay, I'm going to take, so I'm going to look down here. I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, green, and I'm going to really put some white in there. Get a little bit of pink. Put some of that pink in there. This is just very light backgroundy type of flowers here. Leaves, 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 not flowers, leaves. Just in the background. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just start off narrow, spread it out, come back in, thin, just like that. We're gonna keep doing that. I don't think I'm gonna put as much glycerin uh, in this. I'm gonna just use all paint because I do want this stuff to dry. All right. And we're gonna do it again. Start narrow, spread out. You can wiggle it a little bit if you want. And come on out to a point okay we'll do a number of these I'm gonna add more pink this time I did not take the green off I just need it to be um, just some really soft colors going in the background in here just like that and we'll bring it down like this um, we'll get some shorter ones in here like this spread it out and just some stuff going on in the background here spread it out like that all right Oh, uh, we'll put one maybe right here. Spread it out and then we'll curl it like that. Going back into my light pastel green. I'm going to get a little bit of red. I'm going to pop some red in here, get some white. But I still want it to be really pastel -y, really light. Okay. We're going to come over here on the other side. And we're going to just pop some here. Just like that. Spread it out. Spread it out just like that. Make them go a little bit longer. I'll have this one join. Come out here, spread out, stop, go in the other direction, and just have it come on down like that. All right. You can do just about anything you would like for background flowers. Okay, I got a little more red in this one. So we're going to maybe come upward like this, come on out give it a couple of wiggles come 
I like that. And we're going to have one come here, come on down. So that hey, give it a couple nice little wiggles. Like that. Add all sorts of little variances to your flowers, like, like this. All right. Just something, you know, kind of gather the attention a little bit. Get a little more pink here. Like I said, this pink is more like craft paint. It's kind of thin. All right. And it's just, like I say, background stuff going on in here. Um, Put one here. Have it stop and it comes around on the other end like that. Oh, we'll just keep adding some background flower stuff here. Get it pretty, pretty thin. We'll mess around with a couple here. I'll start off thick and bring it on down. Just various background things, that's all. Getting a little more pink is mixed in with the green and such. Come out here. Oh, maybe I'll tease in, just like this, I'll tease in a big old leaf right in here like that doesn't have to have a, a lot of detail or whatnot just something hanging around back there it's okay get a little more pink this is more like uh, just all paint get a little green in it here just like that I'll come over here real quick just like this spread it out like that and I'll pop in a leaf real quick don't have to have a lot of detail in this guy at all it's just something in the back back here just hanging around being itself okay so and so you know basically you're just taking um the brush making it thin spread out make it thin again so it's, it's more of a turn of the brush okay like i can say these are just stuff hanging around in the background chilling out come out here like this and just bring it out there like that maybe these three kind of hang around like the three musketeers here a lot of this might be even covered up. You, you never know. Okay, but it's just something to kind of flesh it out a bit. All right. I'm just rinsing off the brush pretty good here. <coughs> Dry it off. Make sure you uh, clean your brushes thoroughly. All right, get the, get the paint away from the furrows. You'll have some paint still, still trying to hang on. Just clean it off really good really really good here okay i'm gonna go a little um a little darker and bring some of these uh some of the darker colors out a little bit so i'm just getting a little phthalo uh green here i'm gonna get a little touch of red just to deepen up the green a little bit no medium i'm just using more paint um the reason why i'm using more paint like one this is a smooth surface and plus I want the paint to dry okay so I'm just gonna come here and pop it right in front of the other plants just like this because of the super dark color it's gonna bring um, these leaves right out in the fore in the foreground here okay it'll bring it right out in front I'm just getting adding red to the phthalo green I like the deep green okay and it's really popping it right on out there I'm gonna go bring one here just like this I must go down I'm using a thinner brush this is the half inch brush okay so not only do I have different color but I got different um, sizes of leaves here okay narrow make it thick wiggle a little bit bring it thin all right get that a little bit better there bring that back a little bit there we go just like that so it adds a little character to these guys okay oh let's go with some like this some thinner ones like that see that little bit of red that's going in that deep green adds a little character there so you got instant shading without even trying so hard we're gonna come over here we're gonna do the same thing here and spread out come on thin like that we'll have one in the middle come on out be pretty thin just like that when you do them make sure you get a nice crisp point to them so get enough paint to do that got me all right all right we're gonna move it right along here um, we'll put a couple of these small ones right in here like this boom we're going another direction like that BAM uh, one right out here like this 
just like so okay I don't have to really join them anywhere really I don't have to add a lot of excessive detail to it all right no medium involved just just plenty of paint plenty of this, this thick paint all right so I'm coming on the uh, over here on the other side I'll have uh, I have this guy kind of bring one here come over here wiggle a little bit I'll have him aim upward a little bit just like so okay uh, we'll put some some more of the uh, little straggly leaves in here just like that boom pop one here bring one out here like that oh we'll have one kind of come this way just like like little, like little teardrops there and make sure you get yourself a nice little point <laughs> all right Just adding a little bit more red hopefully you guys are, are um, you're getting this just like that okay and look at your colors look at um, where you're dark and in light is hanging out at there all right okay I might have some travel actually what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna add some of the basic um, leaves to um, to the rolls I'll pop those in there using this um, let's have one kind of chilling out oh over here on this side I'll just kind of spread it out like this okay this is one way to do them okay this leaf is a little on the dark side which is fine I'm gonna take it now how I'm gonna do this you see the horizontal slant here match your your one your your half inch to it and you're gonna come make the other one shorter everything is aiming toward there okay so I'm gonna do it on this side come down it, it, everything aims toward that little peak that you see sticking out there all right make them shorter you see I'm going over the other plants other yeah other plants there and it's fine that's fine <clears throat> they overlap in nature you can make them overlap in your painting all right I'm getting some more of the phthalo green getting some more of the red now these are color opposites obviously and they will brown each other out or just get dark um, a, a form of gray if I added white to this it would turn um, a nice cool gray color all right so we got one hanging out there um, I guess I'll put one over here and this time I'll just shape it a little differently just like this have it come down to a, some kind of a point okay and we'll put the dot right about there so you can see where I'm traveling I'm getting a little bit of little bit of glue and I'll just loosen up the paint a little bit just a little okay aim these leaf strokes toward that dot just like that aim them toward the dot keep your horizontal see it fits this angle here keep your brush at that angle come out a little ways aim it toward the dot you don't have to meet the dot just aim it in that direction okay like so there you go leaf number two does it take practice it most certainly does but just keep going at it keep keep doing it you will get it you will definitely definitely get it um you know let's go a little different let's, let's put the leaf up this way go look, here we'll try the third way this way like a kite see this like a kite okay let me get a little more glycerin let me just paint last a little bit longer all right it just loosens up the paint a little bit helps it to flow like this is really thick um thin paper rather look at this if the point was right here and it would go it would go inward like a diamond okay and you would take your paint and you're gonna block all of this in just like that just block it right in 
All right. Then you'll take it, and this is where your strokes will come in, just like that. Okay. And we're gonna do it again on the other side, just like that. You can curve them. It's okay. Just like that. You can make them longer, shorter. No, really up to you. Smooth that out a little bit. But there you go. Obviously, you put your middle, your little middle vein in there. It would be like that. Okay. But you can't. You can have it, or you can omit it. It really doesn't matter at this point. But we at least we have <clears throat> we have three of them there. Okay. I'm going to just to do it here. I'm going to take the same brush, use the corner of the brush and we're gonna come out this way come out this way and I'll just sling it around here all right and then we'll we'll put one right here right here at the corner and we'll just just like that and we're gonna join them right here make sure that the, the point goes right towards the, the main uh, vein of the uh, leaf and here we go at the little vein right there so hopefully I'm not going too fast um, with this all right I'm gonna clean off the brush here pretty good we're gonna still maintain and stick with this we're gonna still stick with this half inch brush all right I got a small towel I can rinse off the rest here make sure you get all the color off okay off your brush a little bit of green in the pink I'm gonna get a little titanium white to, th to strengthen up this pink get a little more pink and we use this we'll we'll use this as a, as a highlight all right okay this paints a little thin okay so we really don't have to add glycerin to it you're gonna do the same thing but you're not gonna bring the strokes all the way to the middle so you're gonna press drag and you release Press, drag, and release. Press, drag, and release. Like so. You need to get smaller and smaller. I'm going to drag this one out a little bit longer there. But much like that. Okay. Now this is good starter uh, leaf pattern. Okay. We're going to come over here. Do the same thing. Curve it right in there. Just like that. Curve him in a little bit more. Okay, let's get some of this bright and we'll add the bright little vein going up there like that. Same thing down here. Add one like that. You can get even more detailed with this if you would like. Adding the separate little um, striations and veins or whatever. You can take a script liner and do it. Okay, I'm going to do one right here. Press drag and you slowly lift up they don't have to be so abrupt in edge um, either that can be kind of when it paints a little bit wet you can kind of fade that out a little bit it doesn't have to be so abrupt like that all right we got one more let's add the vein here just like that getting some more of the color and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna keep that one dark and we're gonna go just like that press and release I'm just turning the brush over you will get accustomed to this you just have to practice I'm showing you the technique on how to do it all right you just have to practice now with it being a light over here and I got this light color we just have to bump that up with a little bit of, of titanium white so we're just gonna kind of and I don't have to add it as strong as I added the um, pink it'd be just here on the edge a little bit just like that and just fade it out a little bit like so okay on the darker end we can give it its more traditional greenish color okay I'm just getting an extra green here mixing it in with the white it's gonna bring it darker okay and it's the shadow side we're gonna take it and curve it around like that 
very slight. And we all know it's going to be the dark half of the planet. Press and you just lightly lift upward. Just like that. And you can bring it in further if you would like. It's all up to you. Really your choice of how much of it you want shown. Even if it is the shadow side. Like so. Alright. We got one over here. Curve it. Bring it in. There's no rule saying you can't go over it again if you don't feel you did it right. Okay. And remember, once this dries, the paint settles. Okay, and it gets a flat color, so it might not be as bright as you would think. Okay. Alright. I'm just cleaning off the brush real good and I shouldn't did it because I got one down here so make sure you get every one of them I'm gonna just go phthalo green here and we're gonna pop that in there real quick there we go throw it right up in there like that I'm gonna play around with some more of phthalo green in certain areas of the plant here just like this you know, just strengthening up a few of them. You don't need to really um, do all of them. I'm going to have this one come out a little more so it can match up the other side a little bit better. Just like that. Just kind of expand it a little, a little bit like that. Okay. And it's got that nice little flowing look. You can still see some of the leaves, the grayish and greens and everything hanging around back there. Okay. All right. Now that we've uh, got more than enough greenage happening there, okay, I think I'm gonna put some some uh, some other little floaty things in there. Let's get oh, uh, well we'll we'll come back. Let me let me I got okay. I Once again, we're gonna maybe add a little f f um, variety here. I'm gonna get into some phthalo green here. I'll put it come down here I'm going to uh, lighten it up a little bit it's a little titanium white little phthalo color here a little darker phthalo green darken it up a little bit now I got a quarter inch brush flat thin little guy all right oh let's just say mmm we we'll have something hanging around here like this a little little light color there um, I'll darken it up a little if it needs it. Just a little, little, little thing right there. I might have to darken that up just a tad so you guys can see it. So get a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna do that again so you guys can see it right around in here. A little thin line right there. One branches off right here. Okay, we get some, um, some like I say, some thin little guys. So we're gonna give it a. A big old teardrop shape like this. We're gonna come get thick, it gets thin. I'm adding it together, it gets thin like that. And we're gonna join another one right here, it gets thin, spread it out, and it gets kind of thin like that. We're gonna have one more. It gets thick here and thin. Thick and it gets thinner like that. Almost like a clover look. Okay. And maybe we're gonna have one thick, thin here. Thick. And I'm actually like putting them together. Okay, so we got like nice little odd looking plant right there. We're gonna add a couple of those. All right, I'm just getting a little bit of, of the phthalo green, a little bit of white. Um, let's add one right here. It's gonna come off the page. Thick, thin. You gonna overlap? Thick, thin. Looks like a almost like a, a heart. Thick, go thin. Thick, go thin. Have one right in the center here. Thick, thin, thick, go thin. Let's beef that up a little more, just like so. All right, we're gonna have another, getting some more thalo here. A slight touch of the white. And we're gonna do it again. All right, thick, turn that brush. Overlap, thick, thin, let's add another one. Thick. Go thin, overlap, thick, and it turns thin like that. Gonna do it again, you know. 
Let's add one. Oh. Thick, thin, thick, thin. Have it bend a little bit. And maybe thick, going thin, thick, thin, thick, thin. Thick, thin. Turn it thick, thin. It's curved a little bit there. Maybe I'll overlap it. Just like that. All right. Um, we'll keep it at that. Let's get some red. Nothing added to it, just a little bit of red. Okay, and we're going to just give it a little press right here. Okay, we're going to give a little color right to the tips. Just like this. Okay. Even when it's off the page, that's all right. Just like that. Press and just get a little flick. All right, adds a little interest to these guys. You know, and kind of curve it, join it right around there, get rid of that middle. Just like that. Just getting a little red. I didn't take the green off. It mixes in. They're color opposites, so. Pop one right here. Pop one right here. Just like that. I'm gonna do the other side, other leaf. Do each leaf. Remember to overlap. When you overlap them, it still gives the appearance of just one petal. Basically. Continue that one there. Just like that. Alright. I'm just cleaning off the brush here. Now, because they're a lighter green, I'm going to take nothing but pure thalo here. And if you want to give it like a little outline to kind of, uh, that's okay too. Pop in a little outline. Bring it in. I'll pop in a cute couple of little spots in there. Just like that. Kind of catches your eye a little bit there. Something like that. Doesn't have to be, you know, flagrant or anything. That would be probably more than enough all right okay so hopefully what I'm doing here kind of uh, helps you out and I'm not going <coughs> excuse me you can always repeat this video all right so you can totally see what I'm doing I got a size one liner brush here okay there watch what I'm gonna do come down here you see this red? Well, let me... Yeah, I got enough. See this red? I'm just going to take all that red, put it right almost up to the furrow. See that? Right there. See that? I'm going to take some phthalo green, put it on the tip of all of that red. So you got a ball of green here. Let's put it somewhere where you guys can see it. Like, uh, right about there. See that? Okay. All right. Let's come over here somewhere. Let's just have it shoot off the page here. I'm going to try to um, do this cleanly. We're going to come right off the tape here. We're going to come down. We're going to kind of kind of wiggle it around here. Wiggle it around. Come on. I'm going to twist in the brush as I'm doing it. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to press. Got yourself an instant bud. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? I'm just getting a little more green here. Okay. When you do these like little buds and stuff like that, don't just stop at at uh, only one. Put an odd number and if it's three, make it three. If it's five, make it five. Okay. Don't stop at one though. Let's have one kind of loop around like this. Choom, choom, choom. Kill one more. And have them come this way. Have them wrap around. I'm just getting some more green. The red is fine. So he's behind this plant. Let's have him kind of pop out like this. And pop him right there. Okay, make it a little stronger there. Right there. So you got number two. He's just chilling out, hanging out around there. We're going to put the third one in. We'll put him over here on this side, okay? So I'm getting some more red. 
doesn't really matter the size of the brush, it's, it's all conducive to the size of the paper you, or the canvas you're working on. Okay, all right, we'll have it pop uh, right, come from any flower, just like that, come out here like this, come on down and we'll pop it right there. Just press it and there you go, instant bud. Okay, cool. All right. I'm just looking at it here, checking it out. <coughs> We're gonna go right to the uh, right to the flower itself now. Now I want to show you something. I'll just put a marker. I'll just pop pop the marker right here, right here. Okay. For the majority of this, it will be all roads lead, lead to Rome. All right, now you wanted a purple rose and we're gonna give you a purple rose. I'm gonna mix a little bit of red, red is in purple. Come here, look look at what I'm doing here. So I got a little bit of red and I'm going into my purple. Okay, I'm gonna mix those together. The purple is gonna be the secondary and the main highlight. Okay, now I know I don't have enough paint to mix to cover the whole flower, but I'm gonna do it right now. So this should be enough, more or less. Okay no medium all right now what i'm gonna do is that when i do this okay i'm gonna try to um well you'll see you'll see but i'm gonna come down to the outer edge here just like this you see what i'm doing here come across the flowers too because you need to uh sell your flower that some of the petals are translucent i'll just come over here i'll just put them in there like this okay you don't want a what's called a, a perfect circle see pop them out there like that all different shapes and whatever now I can take this what I'm doing there and I'm gonna go in a circular pattern with it it'll look like a rose just going in a circle just doing me doing this okay I'm just getting some more some more purple some more red I'm mixing it together no medium three-quarter brush watch watch what I'm doing circle it's going to just go in a circle just like that and we'll get some outside leaves happening here but watch what I'm doing while this paint's drying see this go on that see that circle motion that's actually gonna help you out here I'm gonna take something dark go let's go with that opposite color that green right up in here okay and now we're gonna probably push that green we we'll get it in its little circle here still but we're gonna wave some of that green this way but look at that darkness you got right there. That's your center of your flower right there. Okay, still pop some of that, that darkness in there. I'm gonna still take a little bit of this green down here towards the bottom and we're gonna throw some, some dark in there too, like this, just like so. Okay, but most of it is right in here in the center. All this is gonna help you out here. Okay, let's cover all that up. Now, if you look at it, with those little fast strokes I did, it looks kind of rose-like already. That's going to assist you, okay? You can have purple on the blue side. You know, it, it all depends on what you're looking for, okay? Now, let's um, establish where the bowl is going to be with this guy. We're gonna take some white. I'll put it right here in this, in this purple here, just like that lighten it right up here all right I'm just mixing it up really well just where the I'm gonna darken it a little bit just like that there we go where will the bowl be on this guy well you can have them look look at the rim here out here the petals are gonna be flaring outward okay so the inside of your bowl the bowl itself it'd be thin thick thin that's your bowl okay so your leaves that are facing like this you'd be looking at this this is the inside so they'll be faced like this but to the side like that curved see that okay okay so you got one there that's facing anything else will be flipped and turned outward toward us that's why you got that dark rim there you got me all right we'll get this together for you 
all your lighter stuff will be out towards this way this area all right and we're going to do a, a play on that also but anyway that's where your bowl is going to be i can take some of this lighter color and i can pop some outside leaves up around here um real quick um and i'll probably do that uh but i don't want to do it really with this thick brush I can but I won't I'll go with the smaller brush this is a three-quarter inch I'm gonna go back to the half inch brush glycerin this time because I want to loosen up the paint now what this does it does not change the color of the paint but it does make it a little more transparent the more glycerin you add the more transparent it's gonna become okay get yourself a set of brushes that you only devote to um, your florals okay I'm wiping a lot of this off. I need a nice sharp edge. And I do have one. All right. So let's go out here. And what we're going to do, remember here, I'll do this. There, you should be able to see that. All right. All roads lead to Rome. You got to aim in this direction. So if I take this, and let's, let's sketch out maybe a shape like this. Just there's a you know, regular leaf shape like that. We'll do one here. Just a, a leaf shape, okay. And we got maybe, yeah, come out here like that, nice white one, and we'll curve them around like that. All right. So we'll concentrate on those three. Now watch. You're not going to get rid of all of that dark. You're going to press and go in the direction of that um that dot, just like this. And you'll curve it around. Everything's going to go in that direction. Now I got some green here. In it. I'm gonna try to get some of that green out of there. And all I'm doing is just repeating the strokes just to get some of that green out of there. Just like that. Alright, you want those striations down there meeting into that darker color. You follow me? And remember I got glycerin on here. We're gonna do it again. Now that's the one I did first. Whatever plant you do first, that's gonna be the one that's gonna get covered up. Okay, so let's go on the opposite side here. We're gonna do it again, press. And you're going to go on down. The flick of the wrist, press. You're going to overlap a little bit. Just like that. Aim right there towards that, that dot. And we're going to come around just like so. All right. Just like that. And remember, these are the outside guys. You're going to have petals all in front of these, these fellas. Okay, we're getting some more. Some more purple. Hold on. Add some more paint here. Okay, so this guy in the center, he's going to be in front. Watch. Come on down, overlap. Come on across. Boom, just like that. See, now he's in front of those two. All right. It'll be more prominent as we um, move on and, and, and start covering up some of these guys. But these guys are the fellas in the back back there. Okay, I'm getting some more purple. I'm going into the purple. I'm putting it right in here with the white. It's mixing in with it. Maybe just a little bit of the glycerin here. Okay. Just still playing around with the guys in the back back there. Like take this fella. I'm going to start off here and aim right there. Aim over there in that direction. Now you see he's a little darker. And it's fine. Because he's over there on the outside over there. Just chilling out. So he's good. Just like that. Okay. Just the outside guys I'm really uh, playing with. Give a little something over there. All right, I'm gonna come over here. More glycerin. Cause I want some translucency now. So it's a little more glycerin than paint. Okay, cause you, you want some of these leaves to show through this. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a little curve. Come on in, just like that. See what I'm doing? You see how it's still showing through? Okay, I'm gonna come here, do the same thing. Remember, it's just making the purple a little transparent, and that's fine. There we go. Everything's still aiming over here. All right, okay. A little heavier paint, still got glycerin coming over this leaf. So let's aim downward. See that leaf there? We're aiming still toward this dot. I'm gonna bring it out here like this. Boom. Overlap it. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction. 
Everything's still going here, but that's the end of the leaf. Or the end of that, that petal, not leaf. We're going over the leaf, but you can still see it. Okay. This is straight outside leaves here. They're kind of light and airy and fluffy. Everything's still aiming toward there. All right. Let's slide it over a little bit. Play with some of these guys. These are all the all the leaves. I'm getting a little darker here. Still the same, that deep purple. All right. And we're going to come this way. We're going to come like this. Come out further. Overlap. Just like that. And I'm going to curve him in like that. You might not see it. All right. Once I highlight it, you'll understand. Okay. But these are just the fellas floating around on the outside. So that's the outside rim. Here's the total flower. We're going to back up a little bit. There. All right. So now you know the whole circumference of your flower here. All right. Didn't highlight anything yet. Okay. We got the reddish purple. And then we got more of our deep traditional purple going on with it. Okay, let's do another row of um, outside leaves. All right, we're going to get a little titanium white. Put it in here. Now remember, pink is also in purple. We're going to get some of this pink, put that pink in there. All right, we'll probably um, do the main highlights in pink. But this is just a lighter color of that purple. As you can see down here. Okay, getting a nice chiseled edge. All right, so, well, you know what? Let's do the highlight first. Let's highlight these guys first. We're gonna come here, give it a little press, push, and you're not going in as far. Okay, just like so. We're gonna curve it around. Let's bring this one in a little bit, a little bit more like that and bring him in a little bit more. So we'll start waking these, waking these guys up a little bit. Oh, uh, let's go on the outside one here. Come on down, boom, overlap. And we're gonna press, curve them right on in there like that. Okay. That guy's in the back back there all by himself. Let's let's give him a stronger overlap here. Boom, just like that. And we'll trail him in. Alright. We're gonna keep him back there. We're gonna keep him dark. See how these guys jut forward? And this that's not even the final highlight. Okay, all right. We're gonna get a little glycerin. Put it in some of this light stuff because we want our secondary highlight to be a little transparent. Because remember, you got these leaves back here. Okay, remember that? So we're gonna come here and you're not gonna go as far in as you would the other ones. Just like that. You can leave a few of them dark. Let's go over here, this fella here. And we're gonna come on in like that. Get it? Just like this. And we're gonna curve them around in there like that okay you still see some of the leaves back there some of the action going on over there all right you're still making it keeping it transparent i'm just getting a little more medium just to make it a little pink uh thinner okay and we're going to come here outside edge pop one there like that we're not going in as far and we you gonna still see the translucency of the leaves okay just like that. When it dries, you'll still see some of that leaf pattern back there. Hashtag don't panic. You're going to have a good time with this. All right. You don't have to highlight, even though this is a, the first layer, you don't have to highlight everything. You can keep some of these guys pretty dark back there. Let's go over here on this side. Same, same thing. Press, go on in. Just like that. Still over here. Remember where you're aiming. I'm overlapping doing a little curve just like that all right okay this leaf is almost gonna be just about like semi closed all right because of that bowl we're gonna shape a lot of the petals around that bowl there like I say these are the very outside leaves here okay so we're gonna come we're gonna leave a couple of these dark we're gonna start right here just like that and this one here it's got that funky little curve thing going it's like that and we'll curve him in okay so he's kind of like flipped around keep that one dark so it, this petal appears to be over this one all right now we got that little guy back here we give him a baby one just like that 
We could even give him a little something. Just a minute tiny piece or whatever. But he's still in the back back there. So, you know, he's struggling back there. Okay, let's go to um, doing some stuff involving uh, this bowl maybe. All right, we'll get to the main highlights a little bit later. So we're gonna get another row of flowers uh, from this bowl coming around, meeting this bowl, this part of the bowl. Okay, so it's like this top edge is still gonna connect with the next row of flowers or next row of petals, I should say. Okay, so I'm going into my purple here with the left of it. Getting a real chiseled edge here. Got glycerin on it. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's like they're almost connecting uh, somewhat to this one here. And we're going to continue right here. Just like that. Aim here. You got that one pedal there. We're going to go a little higher. And then we're going to go lower. Just like that. Bring him downward. Aim him toward that. We're going to do another one. He's going to be a little bit higher, right here. Boom, boom, come lower. Everything's aiming toward there, okay? Here's the other curve, right here. Just like this, curve him right in, boom, 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 just like that, all right? Just like that. So now you got another row outward, okay? It'll make sense when I get to highlight them even more. We're going to get an even smaller batch. They're going to be a little darker. I'm going to have to dip into my... You handle these a section at a time. Actually, let me clean off this brush. That's another thing that's important is don't, don't overload your brush with so much paint. Okay. Because you still you want, you need a sharper, chiseled, more chiseled edge. We're going to get nothing but this deep purple here. This is the inside of the bowl, so it's just pure purple. I don't need to really add much, uh, no glycerin to this. All right, we're gonna get, remember they get tighter now. Right up here. If you gotta give a slight push and come on in, if you have to. Everything's aiming toward that, that, that tight circle there. You get one a little bit higher, right up in here. A little higher and just like that, just pop them right in there. Okay, now as you come around this bowl, It'd be like you're painting the letter C in half a teardrop. Okay, so we're gonna come here and we're just gonna pop in a couple. It's like that's the side of the brush, just like so. You'll see it as I highlight some of these guys, but they're just, just right around around here. Okay, so right now you don't see it as well yet, but you will, okay? You definitely will. I'm gonna come here to the bottom of the bowl and I'm just gonna Darken that up a little bit, just like like that. Just kind of make it a little deeper purple there, just like so. Then I'll just dry brush some some fading right there, okay? Just like that. So it's just not as so intense, okay? Okay. Things are gonna get real interesting once we cross around there. But let's start doing some highlights up around these guys first. Okay. Let's go into a are pink come down here look at me final highlights here pink and white purple and pink are very closely related to each other so this will work quite nicely okay there we go now I had to strengthen it with titanium white now the brighter the highlight the less of it you need okay now remember, everything still aims toward that dot. So let's start with this guy. Watch. I'm gonna give it a little push. I'm not gonna take the paint off the, uh, the brush off the paper and just a tiny little, tiny little push like that. Come up, give it a tiny little push. Come up, give it a push. Come up, give it a push like that. All right. Okay. All right, I'm wiping off. I got tissue right, right here, and I just wipe, wipe it right off the tissue, on tissue, just like that. Clean it right off, and we're gonna do it all over again. Some fresh coat of paint, 
that light pinkish color. Okay, we're going to do the other one. Just like that. Give it a little push. Just like that. And come on around. See if I can strengthen up this guy a little bit. A little push. And bring it on down like that. There, like so. We're going to do the other one right here. Give it a little push. Curve it a little higher. Come on down. Come on. Give it a little push. Angle it right in there. Just like that. Okay. Wiping off the brush once more. Because you just want your, your paint to be fresh here. Getting a little more pink. Look down here. Uh, I'll strengthen it with a little titanium white with some more pink than anything. Uh, we can get a little bit of slap a little purple in that in that pink. Just like that. Put it right in there. Don't be don't be scared. You need plenty of it anyway. There. Strengthen that with a little bit of titanium white. So it will show up. Just like that. I'm giving it a little push here. There. Okay. Okay, where are we? Okay, these little guys. Even smaller. Sometimes it just takes a touch. Now this takes practice. Just like that. I'll come up here. Touch. And just flick away. Still overlapping. I'm turning my brush around because there's more paint on the other side. Just like that. Come here. Give it a little slight push. Boom. And come on in. Boom. Boom. Aim it toward there. Remember what I told you about the half teardrop, half letter C or a U where we're going with the petals in the front. Watch. I'm going to give it a little teardrop shape. Like here. Press. And you come on in. Over here. Same thing. Give it a press. And you just narrow it just like that. I'm using only the edge of the uh, of the um, brush. Overlap a couple. The more you get toward the center, the more of a curve it is. Okay, you can come here, add a couple like that. Look at that. That's just the impression of the uh, leaf. So now you see the circle happening here in the inside. All right. We didn't even touch none of this yet because most of these the the uh, the perspective is going to change a bit, okay. Oh, uh, even though I just got a little bit of, of the white, we're gonna make even smaller stuff, just like this. And you just give it a little playful curve in there, just like that. You can make it smaller, smaller, smaller. Pop one in there, pop one in there. Go right across that dot. See how you hit that dot? <laughs> All right. So hopefully I'm breaking this down and you can actually um, kind of, you know, see where, where I'm going at with this. Okay. I'm just cleaning off the brush. And while I'm thinking of it, let's highlight the, uh, the fellas in the back back there. So I can um, concentrate more on this. So let's highlight some of these guys back here. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of glycerin, just a little bit, going into this bright pinky color here. This purple pink stuff here okay now we're gonna start to do some serious highlighting here okay I'm not using too much paint on the brush it's mainly on the tip and once again I'm gonna give a slight push boom give me a lift rim of color to drag and you just make it disappear a little push okay a little push a little push right around in here a little push just like so I'm going to make some of those kind of blend a little bit better. I'm just going to keep going over it here. Softening up some of that striations there. That I didn't mean to do. Now, if you encounter something like that, okay, paint's still somewhat, somewhat wet. You can remove some of that there. See this? Just get rid of it. Thirsty brush will take care of it. Just like that. Just remove it. Okay. See, no harm, no foul. And just return the strokes. Just like that. No harm, no foul. You're, you're good. All right. Okay. Leave that one in the dark. Let's go to this one. Just like that. Bring that one in a little further. The ones you highlight like this and bring them further, the more they kind of stand out. Bring that, that line there. It's like that. I'm getting a little more 
pink just to make it a little more intense right up in here give it a slight push bring it in push overlap there just like that bring it in like that and then you can just kind of coax these along here give it a little slight push right there just like that you don't need no more for that everybody that looks at it is going to know it's a big purple flower okay we're going to get a little more pink a little more titanium white to boost up the pink just like this and a slight slight little corner touch of purple makes it all in there pretty good just like that get yourself some medium a little bit of medium loosen that paint up a little bit remember what this does is make it transparent okay it does not lighten or darken thins the paint a bit makes it a little transparent all right okay this outside guy here same thing get a little touch and a little quick flick let's keep that one dark let's give it a little push here and bring him in a little further like that and just overlap you're still traveling toward the that little dot in there I'm just gonna put a little line in there like that okay you see that guy still dark in the back he's still dark back there keep him keep them dark like that okay coming back watch this I'll make it heavy here right Give it a push like that but I'm gonna just overlap I'm not flipping the brush over and we're gonna give it a little push with that one and curve him in like that that's about it for him he's good maybe one right about here that just takes a little little push just like that and I'll just leave it be add these variances and make your flower extremely interesting all right let's go to the other side right about here we're gonna have him and we're gonna turn him turn the whole brush around like that okay and then we'll add a little flavor to him like that uh, one right, right there and we're gonna curve him just like that that leaf is in his own little world these are just techniques that I'm showing you all right okay these guys here man you can or you can't it don't matter right right now let's make this one a little bit brighter it just brings him up closer to us okay just like that and so we can leave him alone just leave him be all right no big deal you got this guy back here leave him alone he's all right he's okay now i'm gonna make petals appear even though i'm not gonna add them all these little striations they're gonna help you all these see these little light all this here working in here they're gonna help watch this i'm just you i'm gonna use pink i'm not even gonna use purple or anything just the tip of the brush tip of the brush and what i'm gonna do is just tap just like that go out tap tap and tap just like that i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna do the same thing tap 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 give it a little push if you got to give it a little, and that's all you gotta do is really is just tap just like that make it look like little petals just, just popping out all over the place i'm gonna start to tap here just like that fade him in just like that okay let's do that again nothing but pink 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 this old thin pink color it's just that paint is a little thicker okay and i'm not you know going crazy with it we'll tap there and a little, little turn in there like that just like so give a couple here boom boom just like that little, little little taps here and there you can come here and do the same thing just like this and you curve them around like that give it a little push and bring something out there like that you see how it's building and building and building and building all right let me get to here we're going to um take this here and we're going to change our vantage point so what i'm going to do watch what i'm going to do here see this rim here i'm going to go from this rim i'm going to go right from now let's let's create one let's go here like this for a second all right 
there. Get that out of there. Let's go. For, let's go for a little push right here. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna come down like this, and then I'm gonna come down just like that. Okay. All right. I'm gonna fill this in. Fill it in, just like that. Just fill it right in. I wanted a deeper color. Right here. Just fill it in. Fill it in like this. Just like that. Get it smooth. Go, go. Make that still that circular type of, of move there. Just like that. So that's one. But watch what I'm gonna do here. I think I got something light enough. Look, the the your point is gonna be there now. So we're gonna do a separate leaf, just like that. Just like that. Alright. He's a little darker because it's facing us. The light's not hitting exactly over there on that side. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do with this light pinky kind of color here. Uh, let's get a little more glycerin. Let's get this paint to move a little bit. Now watch. It's the, the strokes are going to go towards that, that dot. Right from here. Alright, I'm going to press down. And make it disappear. I'm going to give it a little push. You're gonna follow that dot. Follow that dot. A little push. Getting some more paint. This is more or less pink than anything else. You're gonna keep following that dot though. Overlap, make them a little higher, follow that dot. It's curving. Follow the dot, follow that curve. Right in here. Follow that curve right down like that. Make them a little stronger here. And follow that curve. Just like that. Follow that curve. Gotta make the rim of this a little st strong there. And you gotta follow that curve right down there, just like so. Alright. So now you got a pedal that's facing flipped around. You follow me? You see how that goes? Okay, we're gonna do it again. Getting some dark purple here. I'll just put it right here. Right in here is another curve, but watch, watch what I'm going to do. This is another curve right in here. I'm going to have him just in here. Okay. He's going to be the inside guy. Okay, that disappears. And uh, I don't need that much paint. I already covered, covered him. He's inside. Okay. Once again, the dot is right here. All right. So remember what I said, all roads lead to Rome, right? Just getting nothing but pink right now. I won't need nothing else, just the pink will do. Give it a little push here, just a little push, and you're gonna aim toward, give a little push, aim toward that dot. Aim, keep aiming toward that dot, just like that. You don't need no more than what I just did, okay? If you wanna smooth out some of this stuff, smooth it out. It's all good, just smooth it out. Just like that, just smooth it out. Okay. And I'm gonna take some of the purple and I'll just kinda darken the bottom out a little bit. Don't worry about um, it not matching. That's what your, your brush is for. Just kinda put it all in there, just like this. Just like so. Now I'm going to take that pink and I'm going to bring some of those striations back a little bit. Right over where we just, um, there. Give it a strong push there and we're going to bring some, some of that back. Just like that. I just wiped off the paint a little bit. I'm going to make some of that travel in the same direction. Just like this. Just keep smoothing it out. Alright. See how you get stuff all closed up? Okay. All right. We're almost done. We're at the like 99% tile mark here. We're almost done here. I'm going to get a little pink, a little purple. A little pink. Because right now these, these petals, the next petals, they're like half in, half out the light. All right. And they're the ones that are like hanging out here in front of us here. All right. So we, we'll have a little fun. Take it, come this way. You're not wanna, don't try to get rid of all of that dark. We're gonna give it a little push, a little push, come all around. 
a little push. Even if you have to overlap some of the other plants, come on, come on around. Give it a little push, and we're going to angle, go the other, other direction, just like that. Don't want to get rid of a lot of that dark. Do the same thing here, just like this. Come on out, come on out further. Come out with a point, maybe, just like that, and then curve it in, curve it in, curve it in, just like that. And you can have a little something happening right there. Don't matter right, right about now. Okay, I'm going to take some paint off. I'm going to go take a little tip of purple. Okay, because you can reverse do it and bring some of that purple out that way. Return, reclaim some of that dark back. That's like this. So you can kind of reclaim that, smooth that out a little bit. And that's just purple. So you can go as detailed as you would like. Okay, I'm just getting a rim of pink right on the tip. Okay, and we'll pop in some some joy right in here just like that all right you can just make petals just pop out of anywhere to be honest with you okay all right we're at the uh 99.9 percent uh, mark here i'm just cleaning off the brush i don't need this brush in my liner brush here i'm going to um give a little bit of uh purple It's almost like the buds, but I'm using purple. Okay, I'm gonna use white right at the tip, like this. All right, watch this. And all I'm gonna do is take this brush, just like this, and just give it a press. All right, like this, press, boom. Just like that, just press it in there, like that. Make some higher, make some lower. Turn your brush around, just like that. Get some more white. All you need is a little white, and you just kind of just make, like I say, make some higher, make some lower, make go in a different directions, just like that. So there go your stamens. And then that knife, put some down on the bottom a little bit, just like that. You don't need no more than that. That's your eye catcher right there. Let's pan the camera back. I put this brush away. Excuse my head. All right, let's, let's pan back. And there's your purple flower. Okay. So I'm really hoping that you uh, kind of see um, how this would uh, work for you. All right. I think my frame is a little too big for this one. But we're going to try it anyway. Let's see what happens if I pop a frame on here. Uh, now you kind of get the illusion of what it looks like here. I'm going to have to obviously pop it back up. Pop the camera out a little bit more. You'll see. There you go. But that's what she's looking like. Alright. Okay. In a frame, it will look pretty much like that. Alright. Uh, I do have a smaller black frame. It's a little bit buried right now. I can't get to it. But the uh, black frame will probably suit this a little bit better. That was a hassle. Let's see what the black frame looks like. All right, with the black frame, it will look kind of like this. Now with a black background, I don't know how well you would see that, but that's what it would look like with the black frame. I think I'm gonna remove these little tab things. I won't be needing those. But anyway, that's what it would look like um, if I can get it steady enough. Anyway, that's what it would look like in a, uh, in a black frame. Okay. Okay. It's the darkest color I have right now. I don't even think I got red, so. I'll slap my name on it real quick. Thank you for watching this. I do appreciate it. I do have a PayPal link if you'd like to donate. All I do is get more paint, more canvas, so I can do more tutorials for you guys. A little more paint here. Love to hear. Love to know what you got to say. If you like it, if you didn't. Because I would love to see your rendition of it. Hope I didn't go too fast. And all that. Let's take the tape off. Let's see what it looks like with the tape off. I usually put the tape on here because I kind of like sharp borders. Like I said, I'm doing this right on two-ply Bristol paper. Smooth. There you go. Huh. 
I can't put my tape in my garbage cans too far away. Anyway, that's what she looks like. Thank you once again uh, for watching this. I hope that um, I was able to show you how to do these and I hope I slowed it down for you. Um, if you handle it a section at a time, it shouldn't be as uh, trying or as difficult. A uh, rose is one of the most difficult flowers to do. But hopefully I simplified it enough <coughs> so you can um, attempt this and and um if you fail try again like i say keep it on keep repeating put it on repeat so you can see how the low um the leaves are done um, the long leaves the shorter leaves everything was uh set up for you i even showed you how to do the rosebuds um so give it a whirl okay uh, one of the most important things obviously is to keep a dark center okay and keep your darks in there all right that kind of makes the illusion of your petals just popping out uh, keep some secured in the back pretty dark that also gives you depth and dimension even in a in a flower the, the background's pretty light pretty airy nothing really takes away from the great big giant rose open rose here okay guys thank you very much and uh let me know what you think and i'll um will respond um, either way. All right. Peace.